Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Zogun 4 here, and today we're back with a brand new video. Today we're gonna do a show on my brand new 97 Eclipse. It is a GST, not a GSX. Um, so yeah, I know that people hate GSTs for some reason. Well, not everyone, but some people do. Some people bash on it because it's a front wheel drive, and I honestly couldn't find a GSX. I just couldn't. Um, but I found this thing. It has zero rust. Um, in my opinion, it looks really good. You know, because it's a 97, of course, 23 year old car. Um, it has pretty for a 23 year old car. It has a pretty low mileage, 128,000. You know, some people might be like, "Oh, that's too much," but dude, it's a 23 year old car. Like, what can you expect? <clears throat> but yeah, um, I will definitely be doing videos on this thing. I like the look of it a lot, and you know, it's just honestly amazing to me how this car has aged. You know, cars like this don't get made no more. You know, Mitsubishi kind of falling off. They try to revive the Eclipse by making it into a SUV. That's just, this, it's just, it's just dumb. It's wrong, you know, for them to do that to this car. This car is honestly just so great. And some people don't consider it JDM. I understand because, you know, it was also produced by Chrysler with the Eagle Talon. And yes, for those of you that do not know, the Eagle Talon and the Eclipse are basically the same car. Only difference is rear bumper and front bumper and spoiler. But yeah, I mean, I just want to get into the car already. Sorry for not uploading, by the way. But yeah, I've been looking out for one of these. And I finally got one and I'm ready to make videos on it. Um, I'll definitely be trying to switch some things out, you know. And I'll just explain that in the whole entire later part of the video. But yeah. <clears throat> so, starting off in the engine bay. The previous owner did do some mods to it. Like the manifold. The intake, the radiator, the truck bar right there for weight balancing, of course. Um, I'm pretty sure he told me that he swapped out the turbo for a little bigger one. Um, you know, this thing, stock, 210 horsepower, more than enough, I guess. Um, more than um, average cars these days. But it, it was dynoed and tuned. So, yeah, making around 320, 315 horsepower, um, 308 pound-feet of torque. And it weighs uh, less than 3,000 pounds, but like pff, barely like, like a little, 2,900, I'm pretty sure. And I mean, yeah, this car in my eyes is beautiful. I love the design. Um, I'm probably going to be switching out the rims. I still can't decide on what, on what rims to switch out to. Um, I don't know. I'll definitely be looking out for some. I'm definitely going to try and fix the front bumper. You know, it has some pretty good scratches in there. Uh, I also love the look of the radiator. Just the look of it. You guys can see right there looks pretty good you know but yeah <clears throat> the design in this car is just amazing people say that it's small it is a pretty small car i will admit that two-door coupe um it has a great exhaust you guys can see looks amazing i think the rear is just perfect everything about this view is right here perfect in my opinion um but yeah the interior is also modded you know a bit which is really nice of course but yeah, so definitely rims, front bumper, of course, obviously, I'll be switching out. Rims, still not decided yet, as I said, so probably in a couple months, maybe, I'll be looking at them. And yeah, let's get in the inside. You guys can see right here. Just amazing. We'll get in there real quick. Right, so let's start off. <clears throat> so a booster gauge steering wheel. Yes, a racing steering wheel. Of course, it is not a quick release, so <laughs> and it's there's no ding, so sorry, but yeah, I kind of want to switch this thing out for a sparkle steering wheel. Maybe I'm still not decided yet. I might just keep this, you know, because it's already good enough. Um, but I just kind of like the designs of sparkles a little bit more, but yeah, if I do, I'll make a video on it. Um, you guys can see also here you have your tune, this shows you uh, your gauges right here for your oil temperature, of course, your boost and your. <clears throat> AFRs, so yeah, you guys can see right there 128,000 miles, pretty good for a 23 year old car, if you ask me. And I mean, the interior looks pretty intact, you guys can see some rally yard racing seats, by the way, for passenger and driver. Also, of <clears throat> short shifter right here, I might change the shift knob as well, you guys already know. And yes, it is a manual, I did decide to get one, you guys can see. <clears throat> aftermarket stereo of course this isn't the original one <clears throat> and yeah other than that it's pretty bone stock i mean apart from the engine and the interior being a little bit modded of course which i absolutely love it's just really cool you know this car is 
really small. <laughs> I will admit that. The um, rear seats, basically useless. I don't know who in the world would fit in there. But yeah, maybe like a toddler or something. Like that. Third brake light right there in the middle. And the spoiler. The spoiler, honestly, I love the design. And I mean, yeah, people say that this is a small car. I will admit it is. <clears throat> um, be looking out for that. If you're like planning on having like more than two people in here, which I honestly don't. <clears throat> but yeah, this car is amazing in my eyes, you know. It's just all intact after 23 years. I love it. As I said, after Marcus Stereo, I will be probably switching that out. Because, I mean, I just, it's too small, you know. So, I don't know. I'll, I'll be looking into what to switch it out for. Um, Probably, as I said, change the shift knob, you know. This one's cool and all. It's the OEM one. But, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it might be a little bit too small, you know. I just don't. It's too small. But, yeah. This is my first car, by the way. Um, when I was looking at them, I was just like, wow, this car is amazing. My dad used to own one, so I obviously liked it from the beginning. Um, his wasn't an Eclipse, though. His was an Eagle Talon. And, you know, I just got this, you know, because I obviously prefer the Eclipse looks. I like the rear bumper, the front bumper, and the spoiler, of course. I love it. Iconic. And as I said, some people don't consider this a JDM car because it was um, co-produced by Chrysler, of course. And, you know, that's completely understandable, but I still consider it JDM. I love it. Of course, car is obviously famous for being in Fast and the Furious as the hero car, the first hero car, besides the Supra. But, of course, being overshadowed by the Supra, everyone forgot about it. But I still honestly love it. <clears throat> I love the looks of it. I love the first movie, of course. That's probably where my love for this car mostly comes in play. But, yeah. You guys can see everything's stuck in the doors. And it just closes easily. But, yeah. So as I said, probably going to fix out the front bumper, change out the rims. <clears throat> in the engine bay, as far as this goes, I think it's pretty good right now. Maybe sometime in the future I'll be, you know, maybe upgrading the radiator even more. Maybe to a Mishimoto one. Or I'll be changing out the <clears throat> turbo for a green turbo by forced performance. Or who knows, I might even get a um, cold air intake because I'm pretty sure this is a short ramp. And yeah, you guys can see. I think it looks beautiful. Just... This whole entire section looks clean, in my opinion. Clean. But yeah, the paint looks pretty good. You know, this car just looks amazing, honestly. The windows are tinted. So yeah. And I mean, the gritty exhaust, I just love it. It's a lot bigger than the OEM one. So yeah. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. You know, especially this view right here. I mean, it's just perfect. Honestly, perfect. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Again, videos coming on this thing soon. Definitely soon. And yeah, just let me know. Let me know what you guys want to see. I'll probably do a cold start, a little video. You know, just maybe like a 30 second clip. You know, just a really quick cold start. And yeah. So this was Welcome City 4. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys next time.